ChatGPT is amazing. There are just a handful of tasks that this chatbot cannot perform. From scripting movies to solving assignments even down to coding, OpenAI's ChatGPT does all these with perfection. But there's an even more powerful AI that will outpower the ChatGPT. It can restore sight and movement, save memories, control smartphones with simple thoughts, etc. Let's find out why this new Neuralink chip will destroy ChatGPT3. Neuralink vs. ChatGPT3 The Neuralink and the ChatGPT3 are arguably the two most popular and highly anticipated artificial intelligence systems currently. ChatGPT3 is already in existence and used by countless people for a variety of tasks, such as script writing, coding, gaming, and a whole lot of functions. The Neuralink, on the other hand, is still being developed for human use. However, it has successfully passed trials on a number of animals. Neuralink is one of Elon Musk's innovations that aims to develop ultra-high bandwidth brain-machine interfaces to connect humans and computers. Its immediate goal is to help restore sight to the blind and restore movement to paralyzed individuals. I hope it works. In the long run, however, the link will seek to merge humans with artificial intelligence, augment the human body, mind, and reality, save and restore memories, and several other functions. The ChatGPT, on the other hand, is OpenAI's chatbot that provides users with concise and in-depth information based on user searches. All our user needs to do is to enter specific search words, and within a blink of an eye, the artificial intelligence chatbot will provide all the information at a go without having to scan through other pages. ChatGPT is so powerful that Elon Musk believes we are not far from dangerously strong AI. However, the Neuralink could overpower the ChatGPT and protect humans from the possible dangers it might pose. Optimized Search Engine ChatGPT reached a record of 1 million users in just 5 days after its release, a milestone that took Netflix 3.5 years to reach, Twitter about 2 years, and Facebook, Instagram, and Spotify a couple of months to achieve. What caused this rapid popularity of the ChatGPT is its advanced search engine feature. ChatGPT works like other search engines like Google, but with a bit of advancement and time-saving features. Unlike Google, users of ChatGPT do not have to scan through pages to find information. Neither do they have to click through ads. With just a simple search command, users will be provided with concise, in-depth, and mostly adequate information. Not only is this search engine time-saving, but also it can perform a whole lot of tasks, such as composing emails, solving the most difficult math questions, suggesting possible interview questions, etc. Are you kidding me? The usefulness and popularity of the ChatGPT is clearly evident from how it quickly amassed a million users. However, Elon Musk's Neuralink chip could easily overpower this viral chatbot. Before we talk about the advantages Neuralink has over ChatGPT, please take a second to subscribe to our channel. You can rely on us for all the latest ChatGPT news, Neuralink, and everything AI. One of the goals of the Neuralink chip is to help humans control smartphones and other devices using just the thoughts of the brain. Yeah, it's a big smart brain! With that, all you will need to do is to think about what you would link to search for using a smartphone, and within a split of seconds, you would have all your information at your disposal. Who needs a chatbot if you can simply use thoughts to gather information faster? This is just a glimpse of how powerful the Neuralink could turn the human brain into. It could even be used to save past memories, a function that ChatGPT cannot do. Stick with us if you want to know more about the possibilities that the Neuralink opens the human brains to. Security against ChatGPT ChatGPT offers countless benefits. Same way, it comes with a lot of downsides. Prominent among them is the tendency of hackers using the ChatGPT to write codes that can be used to create phishing emails, spams content, steal personal data, spread malicious information, and the likes. As a matter of fact, it is already happening. For example, an American-Israeli company, Checkpoint Research, have stated that there are a number of hackers already using the ChatGPT to create Python-based malware to perform the exact functions it's been programmed to do. This is why Elon Musk fears that a group of individuals with the wrong mindset could use a powerful AI tool like the ChatGPT to harm others. Aside from that, he fears the possibility that AI could one day outsmart humans, which could lead to terrible consequences. His way of tackling this threat is to create a full AI-humanoid symbiosis that would expand and create superhuman cognition, which could be used to prevent the cybersecurity threats that the chat GPT poses, as well as the danger of AI and supercomputers outsmarting humans. Endless Brain Possibilities Chat GPT is good, but it cannot be compared with the unlimited possibilities that Neuralink promises. Why would one use the ChatGPT for games, for instance, if the Neuralink offers better creativity and entertainment? For example, the Neuralink would offer users the ability to enjoy games, 
easily convert creative ideas and thoughts into reality, as well as what Elon Musk terms as non-linguistic consent consensual conceptual telepathy. The ability to send true thoughts and communicate better with others without using words. Conceptual and consensual telepathy. So I think in general to enrich the, the bandwidth in quantity and quality of the communication between two human beings. So you can imagine being able to communicate not just through this kind of uh, 1D realm of words, but to communicate visual concepts, first of all, but also kind of mind maps of like multi-dimensional concept maps that are in our mind when we're trying to reason through things, to be able to communicate those in some way. It doesn't even have to be kind of uh, perfect replication, but any kind of improvement, increase in the bandwidth of the communication between humans on the visual or on the conceptual side is super interesting. Aside from these, the Neuralink in the future can be used to record and play memories, solve mental illness, and even predict possible diseases. These are functions that ChatGPT cannot perform and will go a long way to put the Neuralink ahead of ChatGPT if successfully implemented. On a whole, both ChatGPT3 and Neuralink give tips about how fast artificial intelligence is developing and how well they could be used to human advantage. However, some established platforms such as Google want to end the ChatGPT. Click on the link to know why the establishment wants to shut down ChatGPT3. And don't forget to share it with your friends as well. See you next time.